Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is May Dirt, which is, I don't know, I mean, it's just May Dirt, but it's a Friday. I'm trying to do an extra part I haven't done yet, so let's, let's get to it. And yeah, I hope everyone's having a great weekend. Oh, we have an easy one, so yay, I get to go to sleep earlier. I'm actually trying to eat afterwards for uh, 868 binary gap. Given a positive integer n, find and return the longest distance between any two adjacent ones in the binary rep representation of n. If there are no two adjacent ones, return zeros. Return zero. Long as this, I mean, okay. Is that it? I mean, I guess this is easy. I, I was just kind of confused a little bit, but uh, okay, fine. Uh, I want to want to, okay. Eh. I mean, <clears throat> especially in Python, there's just a, uh, um, you know, you could convert this to binary of someone like this, right? Uh, I think this is it, right? So let's say S is equal to this for the string. And then now we can say, um, Mm, the longest distance they say yeah 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 okay fine right so then now we get, and actually you don't even need to do that right but yeah uh <laughs> i'm just gonna be really lazy today <laughs> usually i'm a little bit better than this but i think a little bit better than i think i'm getting hungry uh and the reason why we can do, do the, a double for loop instead is because n is 10 to the 9 and n to the 9 is 2 to the dirty 1, maybe? 2 to the dirty... Well, 2 to the dirty, but it's a little bit more... Uh, no, I think 2 to the dirty is fine. Right? So that means that there's at least uh, a most dirty binary um, digits. And that means there's, there's going to be dirty cube, which is fine enough for me anyway. So, yeah. So then I and S, right? So then now, um, best is equal to 0, right? Um, oh. Yeah, okay. I mean, I guess this is exactly right, right? Then um, maybe if s sub i is equal to 1, and then if s sub j is equal, equal to 1, I guess it could this could be plus 1. I mean, I was using that as a sentinel, but I guess we already have it anyway. So, yeah. And then best is equal to, is it min or max? Longest, right? So max best of j minus i, and then that's it. Yeah, I I, want, I I was just checking on their definition of distance because, you know, sometimes they, they mean it by the number of zeros between them or something like that, but sometimes not. Uh, yeah, but apparently I am like wrong on the, on this one. Why? Oh, 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 it has to be adjacent. Okay, so I did mess up here. Whoops. Um, but then here I can just break. I think that, that should change it. The, the way that I did this is very sloppy, to be honest, but... Uh, I, I'm lazy. It doesn't really matter. It's fine. Uh, yeah. Still going to be n. I, I want to say it's n squared, but I don't think it really is. Because basically this loops only gets the next number. So this actually only increments n. Because um, let's say you have zero in between two adjacent ones. That zero only gets looped twice right once on the i loop and once on the j loop so that means that this is even though it's very awkwardly looking this is still linear time uh, and constant space well i guess this is linear space actually but uh but yeah that's all i have for this one let me know what you think a little bit lazy have a great weekend everybody stay good stay healthy to good mental health i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye